In this video, we'll talk about private smart contracts, how they work, and why it matters. So picture this, you walk into a local grocery store, but you have never seen a place like this. Customers are walking through the aisles wearing t-shirts with random number letter combos like 0XB794F5EA. Suddenly at the front of the store, a blinding spotlight illuminates the customer at the front of the checkout, and this voice blasts through the PA speakers. Customer 0XC394 has just finalized their transaction of $104.73. And so the customer loads their purchases into the cart, and then the announcement or mention something else, the details of each and every item they purchase. Before the next customer in line steps up, the voice finishes. Please visit the room near the exit if you'd like to view the financial transaction history for 0CX394. You turn around and you do see it, the public data room. There's a handful of interesting characters walking in, but none of them are here to shop. So what are we talking about here? This, beyond being the creepiest grocery store ever, it's important to know that this story is far from fiction. The numbers on the t-shirts represent wallet addresses on a public by default blockchain. The checkout line is the moment where one of those wallets executes a transaction on that blockchain. And that public data room where people can see the entire financial history of your wallet, it's real. And anyone can enter it using something called a blockchain explorer. This is the current reality of what we call DeFi, decentralized finance. And starting with Bitcoin in 2009, almost every blockchain ever created is public by default rigidly transparent. Now, transparency has its merits, but to achieve full adoption and to have Web3 become everything that we would hope it can be, it seems clear that we need a layer of privacy within this. And Secret Network makes that possible. It's the first and so far only blockchain to bring programmable privacy to mainnet. And this is possible through secret contracts. Smart contracts on a typical public chain, they only have public data. Everything is transparent. Secret contracts have both public and private data, and the developers who write a particular contract for an application, they can decide uh, what's public, what's private, they can decide what the user is allowed to determine as public or private. So in other words, there's a much greater range in what's possible with permissioning and the viewability and privacy of data. Now the private data on Secret Network, it's encrypted in all three states of its being. It's input when you do a thing with a contract. It's encrypted in its state when the network starts doing a thing because of what you did with the contract. And then it's also encrypted in its output when the network finishes doing the thing that you asked it to do with the smart contract. And all this private data, it's never accessible to any nodes, developers, any of your pets, uh, other users, your neighbors, any humans or non-humans. It's all private. The privacy solution that Secret uses is something called the TEE. A TEE stands for a trusted execution environment. Imagine it just as a big black box. And you can put something private in that box, but no one will know it was you. When it comes out of the box, that thing you put in is now in its own mini black box. And you can generate a key in your hand and a lock on that box to unlock the box and look at what's inside. You can make copies of that key for anyone you want to share the data with. We'll talk about more about how that works in just a minute. But th again, this is very different than what's possible on public by default chains, because typically when they want to manage sensitive data, they have to store it off chain or offline. Many times that happens on centralized services. So the latest game that you're playing or application that you might be using, if, if this is their practice, they might be using a service like uh, AWS or something that is not only not decentralized, it's not on the blockchain at all. And there's its own set of risks associated with that. But secret contracts allow developers to include sensitive data in their smart contracts without moving off chain to centralized and less secure systems. And so that means secret is the ultimate blank canvas for building truly private and scalable decentralized applications. It opens up the possibility for a decentralized web to be what we've always wanted it to be. One way that people like to explain the innovation of Secret is that it's like the privacy of Monero with the smart contracts of Ethereum and the interoperability of Cosmos. And if you know what all three of those ecosystems are, then that might make a bit of sense to you. If not, don't sweat it. But let's go back to an important feature that I mentioned earlier without using the exact phrase, and that is viewing key technology. Viewing key technology is a pretty core function to make this privacy stack work because you don't want to keep secrets from yourself, right? So when you first interact with a digital asset or an NFT on Secret Network, you will generate a viewing key for that. Like a key to your house, you can provide anyone with that viewing key. And you can also revoke permissions or change the key locks if needed. This is better than privacy by itself because it allows developers to build layers of permissioning into applications. Select people can see select things and all of that power is in the hands of the user. On a public chain, everyone sees everything. And that can 
can work in some use cases, but not uniformly, not as a standard for Web3. If we really want the kind of Web3 that we all hope for, we need privacy. And that's why Secret is rapidly becoming the privacy hub for Cosmos and beyond. In fact, Secret has even begun work on additional privacy solutions on sidechains. Uh, they're in early stages of exploring things like FHE, which is a fully homomorphic encryption. Some users have said they might prefer this over a hardware dependency like they currently use with Intel SGX that's used for TEEs, those black boxes. It makes sense that the Privacy Hub for Web3 would have a whole constellation of privacy solutions and options available to address the varied needs and preferences of users. And that's exactly what Secret is moving forward with to try and accomplish. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, come say hi on the Discord, and why not learn how to become a secret agent while you're at it? Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.